What's up guys? Martin from Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. And we got another shipment. And we got some pay dirt. And I'm very happy about this one. Pay more gold. Love their pay dirt. Good to have a blast. Fantastic company. Fantastic sponsor of the channel. I love Panmore Gold. I always have a good time panning out Panmore Gold. Um, I try to tell people, a lot of people off my reviews went and bought their one pound bag. The one pound bag is basically a sample. I think this goes for like $15 or less with shipping. It's like a sample. You got to get like maybe, you know, um, a 15th or a 20th of a gram. It's, not, it's just to give you a taste of what the big stuff is. But this four pound bag, a lot of people who do it, they get, they get just about a gram. So it's not that bad. But the coolest thing about Panmore Gold is that it's authentic pay dirt. So it's, it's a lot of place of gold, but you do find low gold, low gold in here because he has, um, he's in Colorado and he, ha he sells gold ore, gold and silver ore. So that's what's cool about it, because a lot of the, a lot of his material is basically placer river deposits. Also, the load gold, because he crushes his, he crushes obviously his ore, and whatever gold he recovers, you know, he recovers it, bags it up, and also with the the um, ore being crushed. And the spot that he's at in Colorado, which is you know, which is bre breaking through a mine, a lot of galena. A lot of Galena is in here, which is really, really awesome. So you'll get some metal, you'll get some, um, you get some iron pyrite, you'll get regular pyrite, you'll get um, sulfides, you'll get Galena, you get silver, gold, obviously, um, some really beautiful specimens. Um, you you I mean you'll really be surprised. I'll show you one thing I got. Hold on, Let's see if I have it. Should be right here. Right on top. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Let me pause it. Hold on. All right. So basically, this is a chunk of Galena. Now Galena can will with Galena will have gold, silver, zinc, copper. Palladium, platinum, depending on the area, a galena can hold a lot. When miners mined, they looked for the galena deposits. They got a lot of the galena out of the mines, um, you know, and they crushed this and they smelted it and they recovered the gold. Um, it could be very, very valuable, a lot of it, obviously, but it is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. There is a lot of this. Um, and I'll take that any day. Um, something to add on to the gold. Because um, in his four pound bag, let's say I get a gram. But I also get like, you know, three grams of Galena. And, you know, it just adds to the fun of the bag. I like the authentic pay dirt. I like to feel like, you know, I'm in the area. Like I'm really having fun. So I'm going to pay more gold. This is an awesome company. Awesome. Donald's an awesome guy. Um, I really, really appreciate his sponsorship for Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. Um, I've never gotten a bad bag of Panmore Gold. Um, all his bags are heat sealed and numbered. So this is 523 of 5,000. Um, there's no special treatment. Obviously, these bags are made already, all the way up to 5,000. I don't know about his one. Yeah, look at that. Even his, um, his one pound bags are special. Uh, 2,300 and looks like nine. 2309 out of 5,000. So these are already pretty much bagged up and ready for shipment. Um, so I'm just going to have some fun. I'm going to pan more gold if I can get them to stay. I'm going to pan more gold. I'm going to have some fun. And uh, that's about it. So let's weigh it up. Let's see if they are what they are. Because uh, even though it's for fun, we're still going to see if we got our, if it is the weight, what he's selling. And this is four pounds and two ounces. And this is exactly one pound. Can you see that? Exactly one pound. And this one was, show you guys again, four pounds and two ounces. Not bad. So they are what they are. They say what they say. They are what they are. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm going to pan these out. Um, 
I'm gonna, you know, of course I'm gonna do a Roy and let you know what I recover. Just because, you know, that's what we do. And we're gonna treat these bags just like any other bags of Pamor Gold or Eureka Gold Sands or Dorado Gold, whatever they may be. We're gonna treat them as regular bags. Um, and we'll see what they hold and what they would cost to, you know, what they would cost to the gold recovery ratio. And I'm gonna give it a fun fact that I always have a blast doing Pamor Gold. Um, it is dirty material. Um, which is fine with me. You could tell it wasn't extremely sluiced um, to get every drop of whatever is up out of it. There will be fine gold in here. Um, so it's not extremely clean. And I always try to explain to people um, the reason some of that pay dirt is extremely clean and you have clean water is because they sluiced it and they they ran it over, you know, miller tables. They ran it over um, gold cubes and high bankers. And that stuff is spotless. So all the gold is recovered, and whatever it is in there, they add it. Now this, on the other hand, isn't seeded product. Yes, it is. But there's also natural occurring gold. And the other, um, the other um, prestigious matter, uh, minerals like galena, zinc, palladium, copper, platinum, gold, silver. Um, the list just goes on and on and on. So that will also possibly be in here. I already found that piece, so I'm pretty happy about it. So let me get to panning these on, and I'll be back with my results and my final thoughts on the Panmore Gold. Super excited about it. Um, you can find Panmore Gold at Prestige Minerals. That's um, his website as prestigeminerals.com. Or you can email him at support at prestigeminerals.com. Or you can always call them. They sell, obviously, pay dirt, and they sell a lot of it. If you want 100 pounds, you want 500 pounds, he'll sell it. Um, if you want um, gold and silver ore, he sells it. He has his own website for that, too. And he also sells, um, um, what's the name of that stuff, that rock that has diamonds in it? Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um... I'll get for you. I'll get it for you very shortly. Another thing, he also has um, that's up in Colorado too. They have a really, really huge fault line over there where he's at, and he's able to collect those rocks that actually have real diamonds in it and garnets before they hit the water and the ocean before they're you know eroded. They you know they come out of rock. So pretty pretty cool. I'll find out the name of it. I remember it again. I'll go check it out. So uh, PamorGold.com is the website you could go to. Also, there's a couple of more. Let's have some fun. Let's pan out some gold and let's see what we recover. This is his one pound and four pound bag. So here we go. I'll be right back with some results. All right, guys. I'm back with the classification part. I was not going to do the classification part, but it just didn't feel right. Also had a couple of things I wanted to talk about before I get further into panning this out. I had a couple of things I've jibber jabbed in the beginning of the video I wanted to correct. So the company is PamMoreGold.com. That's where you can buy his products. <clears throat> the one pound sells for $15.95. The two pound sells for $28.75. It has 10% off. It was originally $32. The four pound is $54.35. It has 15% off. It was originally $64. So that's the pricing of the pay dirt. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed Pamela Gold. I always have fun. Um, and especially with the added little things that are inside the pay dirt, it's definitely a pleasure to pan. It's a little dirty, but that's a good, that's a good sign. That means it wasn't extremely washed on high bankers and sluices and blue bowls and water tables. I mean, the pay dirt will have some natural occurring gold because it wasn't all taken away during the cleaning process or the recovery process. Also, the rock mineral I was trying to get off my tongue when I was tongue twisted earlier was Kimberlites. He has a company called Kimberlites.com, which is Colorado Diamond Ore. Really, really beautiful stuff. If you haven't seen it yet or tried it yet, go check it out. Um, Kimberlites.com or PrestigeMinerals.com and um, it's Colorado Diamond Ore but it also has garnets in it and this is the ore, the garnets and diamonds before they reach Mother Earth and get destroyed by erosion 
This is the ore that it's originally in and created in. Beautiful stuff, really is. Green, purple, really, really nice stuff. Also has the company Prestige Mineral that sells Colorado gold ore. Where he sells one pound, four pounds, 15 pounds, 25 pounds, 50 pounds. The list goes on and on and on. That right there is another beautiful, beautiful specimen pieces. I love them. I had them before. I crushed them. It was a blast. They hit and miss. Remember gold ore. A lot of the gold is free mill gold. So it's very, very small. You need a collectible process. Um, when you get a one pound, you know, it's hit and miss. It's just a sample. So if you don't get nothing in the sample, it's not, it's not that it's not there. I mean, you're just getting four pieces. One pound is not a lot, of, a lot of weight. I mean, one decent piece of golden ore can weigh a pound. It's heavy. So that's how you know. But besides that, they're really, really fun stuff. Go check it out. Kimberlites.com or PrestigeMinerals.com or Panmore Gold, where you can find all the information at. So what I wanted to show you... This is the one pound bag. Now, the, the plus 10 in the oversized material, I mixed in with the four pounder. And the reason I did that, because I went through that, um, this, this one pounder, the heavy stuff, to make sure whatever I got, I put back in there. And then I added all the plus 10 material to, the small, uh, to this one. So that just made life easier. And the reason I did that, because I'm going to crush this material. Um, in my in my molly and the thing I made just to see if I could recover anything or if there was anything in it because I really like What the material looks like so let's go over it real fast. That's this is my plus 10 Under 10 over 20 under 10 over 20 I did not go any lower than that only because I'm doing this for a, my pleasure um, Not to get technical and then this is my under 10 over 20 for the one pounder it's going to be a blast. I know it. I always have fun with Pam Moore Gold. It never let me down. Um, remember, pay dirt's not always about a Roy. Um, it's not. Some people are just loyal to, to a fault of some companies. And it's a good thing because you want an honest company. But you also want to enjoy yourself. Not every person who does pay dirt is going to buy every company out there. You know, they just want to have a consistent bag. So Pamela Gold is like that. It has those kind of minerals in it that make it different from others. Um, you know, it has the gold, definitely, which is nice, beautiful, clean pieces. Some of them are specimens. Some of them are just placer gold. It has the galena, beautiful. It has the copper pyrite, the iron pyrite, the silver, the, um, you know, the zinc, everything. It's just, you'll find that stuff inside the pay dirt and you'll understand what I mean. Now, when you buy the one pounder, understand you're just getting a sample. It's $15. So if you get a tenth of a gram, that's 10 bucks of gold. Um, that's, it's not, it's just to let you know what's out there, how the bag looks. I mean, I saw some people go off on my pay dirt review on a one pounder, and I'm not saying that it could have been better. Of course, every bag could be better, but it's just a sample to lead you into what kind of material this company got. And I find it pleasurable. So let me get to panning this out and I'll be back with those results. I might just pan it with you guys. So hold on, let's see where this goes and I'll see you soon. Boop. All right, I turned the light on. Probably see a break in the video, but you'll see what I'm talking about. With all that silver material, it's all down there. It's all over the pan, it's up there on top. But let's see what kind of gold this bag had. And as you can see, it's starting to poke itself. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. It's all starting to peek out. All right. Like I was saying before, the material for Panmore Gold is some really dirty pay dirt. But once you get through all that dirt and you're able to manifest the mess, you start to get some really beautiful gold. And I really enjoy finding all that iron pyrite and all that precious metals besides the gold it really makes for a pleasurable pan 
and you never know what it is. I mean, I asked Donald what it is, and he has some kind of uh, some kind of report on his page. I think if you ask for it, he'll let you know. But a lot of it, it you know, it depends on the area. But look at that! Look at that gold! Oh man! Look at that line of gold coming out. I do have I do have Judge Ryan here. Let's empty some of this out. So what I'm gonna do here guys is you get all the junk material at the bottom, pan it. Remember, I'm going to try to save as much of the silver stuff as I can. It's not going to be easy because it's very light. Some of it's very light. But try salvaging some of it. Oh, some ice skating's on. See what we got here. See, it's almost impossible to save all that silver material. As long as it's, you're not losing gold. All right. Let's see if there's any magnetite in that. Let's see. Yep. It was. <laughs> See? See how the magnet picked up that gold? That's why they gotta be careful. So we got all the mag we got all the magnet stuff up, whatever was left. Oh wow. <laughs> that is nice. porn for you well let me clean the rest of this up and I'll be right back with those results but that was what was left of the super cons from me doing all that pay dirt and so all I have was metal heavy metal some black sand some hematite hermit hematite and hermatite and a lot of that pyrite stuff a lot of that silver a lot of that nice precious metals so i'll be right back with this stuff all clean and we'll see what it looks like all right guys so i just finished panning out the whole nine yards of the pan more gold pig dirt and look at this look at this Beautiful gold. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man. There is, you see all the fines on the bottom? All that? All that's fine. Some real nice fly poop in there. Some sexy pickers. Boom. 
some nice pickers in there. Oh, well, anyway, there's a couple of them in there. Another one right there. Right there. Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, you ready? Oh, yeah. So, this is Pam Moore Gold. Got a lot, a nice amount of poop. I did say, I told you, a lot of natural occurring gold. Um, it's a reason the paid out sir dirty. It wasn't spotless cleaned with sluices and high bankers over and over and over. Um, with the addition of the addition of the extra silver material, which will be your iron pyrites, your silver, your zinc, your lead, your palladium, your platinum. I mean, it's all recoverable materials, um, but, you know, that's for the processing. You know, that's just to add for the fun. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dry this bad boy up, <laughs> and... We'll get to we'll get to the weight and everything, but look at that look at that smiley face. Look at that gold, that is so nice, beautiful. All right, so I'll be right back, guys. I um, don't mind the band aids. I really hurt myself at work, so I had an emergency room visit. I had a fight with a router, and the router won. <laughs> so I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just finished totally panning out the Pam Moore Gold Pay Dirt, and man, I had a blast. If you saw that happy smile on that pan and saw that gold, that was definitely an exciting part. I was, I just, it was awesome. I also found these three pieces of ore, um, which is caliche, and it looks like to be bearing some gold in there. So I will crush up this maybe in the future and add it to my collection, but pretty cool. Also, the large amount of Galena, which is definitely an A plus. And that's about it. So let's get this underway. And let's see what we got. I will not do a Roy here, but you will get an idea. Ooh, oh yeah, great. <laughs> Thank God it's empty. There you go. 1.94 grams of gold. If I did a Roy, and that's just about two grams of gold, which is about eighty dollars right there. Um, the bag of pay dirt was fifty, fifty-five, and fifteen, which is sixty, seventy dollars. I'm definitely at a hundred percent Roy. So, thank you very much, Pam Moore Gold. That is definitely an exciting ordeal. Check out that gold. Let's get a zoom. Oh, that is some beautiful clean gold. Oh my goodness. Almost two grams. And look how clean that gold is. That is some nice gold. Well, I had a blast. I had an absolute adventure. Um, so let's get into one more part. Let's move this off. And... Come on. All right, let's check out how much Galena is there. All right. Just for show and tell, there you go. 2.8 grams of Galena, which could be zinc, gold, silver, copper, um, lead, palladium, platinum. I mean, it could be a whole bunch of stuff. But definitely... I mean, something that's fun that's added into it. You don't see this in a lot of pay dirts. You probably only see this in one other pay dirt, and that's um, uh, who does that? Um, dirt Hog usually has a lot of silver and stuff in his pay dirt. So that's definitely something cool to have fun with, something different than gold. But all in all, definitely beautiful. So go check out Pamela Gold, guys. Awesome stuff. You order their four pounder, you won't be sad. Um, anything, you know, even their golden ore or their kimberlites stuff is just really awesome. What else? Um, I wanted to give a nice, happy, um, beautiful shout out to a good buddy of mine, Lemonhead Penny. 
Just got this in the mail. This is a 1970 silver 40% Kennedy MS64 greeted by NFG, NGC. Also, real fast, want to give a shout out to a um, beautiful subscriber of mine, Armando. He gave me my favorite football team. He gave me a commemorative Kansas City Chiefs coin, which is super cool. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And I got a letter in the mail from Coinman5000. Sent me some stickers. So, guys, if you aren't subscribed to Coinman, go check him out. Coinman5000, thanks a lot for the stickers. I'll put them on my board. Same with Lemonhead Penny. If you guys aren't a subscriber of Lemonhead Penny, go subscribe to him. has awesome auctions. And the same with Armando uh, Martinez. You can see him on my comments and go subscribe to him. And definitely go check out Pamela Gold. I'm out of here, guys. I'll see you on the next review. This is having fun with Golden Pay Dirt Reviews. Have a nice day or a nice night. And God bless. Go find your treasure.